Right, here we are about 10.30 in the morning. I didn't have anything to say to you guys this morning, so I didn't. Come on, let's go outside. Other than that, I am sore after our chest and ab workout, like it hurts. It hurts so good. Got the whole house opened up last night. Getting everything, well not the whole house, just the garage to get the heat out of the shop. Got a lot of good stuff done around here this morning. Haven't got emails and stuff that I'm waiting on yet, so blech, that's all right. Go potty. It's a nice good day out today. It sucks we didn't get all that rain that I wanted to, but hopefully it's gonna come this spring. Jeez, I'm getting grass and weeds growing in my pond, in the dirt. Ah, it's frustrating. I need to blast around on my quads and rip all that stuff up. But hey look, a little remnants of water. But it'll help the grass grow. More-ish. I'm getting ready to go do my thing at Compassionate Care. I even had some, a uh, little bit of skin peeling from my boating adventure the other time, the other night, Saturday. Today, beautiful day, I still, I'm still having a hard time getting this set into my reality that this is my life now. On my time, my accord, like what I wanna do each day so awesome it's very surreal at the very same time I having a hard time grasping it it doesn't hit me shocked set in yet but other than that God just get to that point that's that's just why I keep pushing you guys to getting to be getting to that point it's so just what your ultimate ultimate happiness is not this 95%, 90% happy. That 100% just exactly where you want to be happiness. Talk to you more throughout the day, but I got things I got to get done. Beautiful day out. Ah, just go rock things out while it's nice and cool. All right, just got into compassion and care, stupid bridge construction, and I almost forgot Kira's thing. Or a headband that I fixed up for. I ended up, uh, yeah, leaving home and I ran back and got it. Because I promised her that I would fix it the next time I was here. Eh. Too many things. I am sore as shit. I'm all over the place with my camera, aren't I? There's Isaiah. Everybody else. Ha! Well, don't you look all pretty today. Hey. You're this called. Ah. Kira, look! I told you I'd fix it. Oh my god! See? Thank you! Of course. <sighs> See? It's all better, isn't it? Thank you. Of course. You so happy it's all fixed now? Yeah. You get your pretty nails. Oh, we're uh. Sherry, help me. Sherry always does it for you. Uh, mommy? Why don't you do it for Sherry? Okay, that one's right. Mr. Tyler. What'd you call me? Mr. Crack. That's like crack. I'm bored. All right, cool, had a good session in there. Oh, since I got there a couple minutes late because of that traffic on that bridge and whatnot, I stayed a few minutes later. And also there's a new lady, so I actually had a really good conversation with her about some stuff that's going on in her life and she's gonna start following me along with her son. I'm gonna first start following C9 Live. You know, it's all about that driven by vision and pushed by passion. You gotta get your mind right. Change your mindset, change your life. That's what exactly is everything that's gonna get you there. It's changing how you think, changing your perspective, changing everything about how you've been programmed to think. Think of everything in a positive, optimistic light. Quit being negative. There's no time to be negative.
there's no time to sit here and talk. I got things to do. Create that life that you want. That C9 life is waiting for you, but you got to put in those actions daily to get to it. All right, bam. Um, just not leaving the house again. <coughs> Came home to have a quick lunch. I ooh, discipline because after I left Compassionate Care, I ran stuff by the post office. I ran another errand. Then I headed to Holton, made a payment on my commercial land that I have over there. So I still gotta do that until I sell it. Um, but I was hungry. I was hungry. I was really craving Chick fil A. Still have all that food at the house for, you know, from the barbecue, the celebration. So I waited. I went to Holton, made my payment. I uh, actually had another meeting. I had a meeting while I was there about some other investments. So I got to get paperwork and stuff ready tomorrow. I'll have another. So we set up another meeting for tomorrow at 2.30. Um, da -da -dum. Then I came home and I ate the food that was already cooked and at home. Didn't crave into my temptation. Trying to cut up a lot more for summertime. Get you know, where I want to go. Flatter stomach, stuff like that. So, hey, didn't crave. Didn't cave to the crave. Don't cave to the crave. Just do what you need to do. Put in the work, make the sacrifices, reap the benefits. Reap what you sow. Sow a masterpiece. Other than that, other things going on, I'm gonna heading right now to pick up the contracts and business cards. Well, at least the contracts are done. The business cards are all done. They just need to be cut up. So hopefully, I just why I went home and ate first to wait a little bit to see if they can have them hopefully all cut up. So let's hope they're all, everything's all done. But then I'm gonna hopefully run by Compassionate Care, get that contract all signed, done. Get some other phone calls made so I can hopefully go bang out some other contracts tomorrow. We'll see, hopefully. But now that I got the contracts done, I can start making the phone calls and going and setting up other stuff. You know, even though I wanted to get stuff done and get other stuff made, you know, I didn't have those contracts done. And what if somebody says, hey, all right, well, let's get something going. Oh, hey, I don't, I don't have the the contracts done. They'll be done in like a couple days or so. It's not professional. That's not having all your ducks in a row. If you're not already organized when you step in there, how you can, how are they gonna want to set up a year-long contract or something with you if you're not organized in the beginning? That means you're not organized in your whole game plan. So sometimes you need to wait, take that patience, get everything, get all your ducks in a row first, get everything in order, get everything in line. And then get all that stuff done. <clears throat> so that's what we're heading to do right now. It's already a little after two o'clock. Get all that stuff done and hopefully get everything done as before I can get to the office at four o'clock. On the move again. And I am out. It's a little after nine o'clock. Great night out. Great workout. My big man Ray in town after setting a couple world records in powerlifting. Ray Stewart, who owns uh, Old School Iron out of California. Good man, every time he's back in town, he stops by. Stopped by and bullshitted with me for a little bit. It's always good to see you, brother. Now, now it's time to head home, shower. Had another great workout today. Me and Andrew kill it. Got in a great back workout. You guys need to get here, get after it. Stop waiting, stop bullshitting. The time is now, it's in your control. So let's get these workouts. I wasn't happy exactly where my body is at for summertime. So I've been banging my workouts out. I'm starting to get my diet back on point. Your control, your actions, get to it. You can do a little bit of stuff, but get here. I'm running some awesome specials right now. We're going to grow this a little bit bigger. But it's one big happy family. That's what it's about. So I'm going to get home. Think of a great topic to talk you guys about tonight. Get your mind right. It's all about getting your mind right. It's the first place it starts.